I'm Remy. Uh, I've been painting as long as I can remember, sort of so long that one of those things where you can't actually remember ever a time when I wasn't painting. And it's always been an escape and a release, a way to get out of myself and experience the world through paint. It's, uh, and ever since then I've developed, as I was growing up, I developed a real passion for it. And I, when I was young, um, a lot of things happened. And painting to me was a way of venting this. And because I lost my mother when I was very young, I found that the I felt a very close affinity to the countryside around Kent. And painting was my way of communicating with the countryside, almost a way of talking to my mother, which I couldn't speak to. And ever since then, painting's been this massive relationship in my life, this sort of way of communicating, because uh, I'm not a brilliant communicator, and by painting I can say everything I want to say without having to express myself with words. Um, usually, when I want to do a painting, I'm very seasonally based because I'm working in the landscape outside so it's the seasons that affect everything first of all so I've been working recently in the sort of springtime because the sort of, there's been a change of the season and the first thing about spring the first thing is everything comes to life there's this rushing of life everywhere this acceleration and in Kent in the chalk hills this is shown most explicitly in these huge blankets of bluebells you get and they're just it's just a blanket of them so i have a concept of idea in my head as i'm you know get up in the morning and then you begin to see this all this mirror almost a miracle happening around you this amazing display of the change of the season so i want to find somewhere so the next stage will be i'll start scouting around i go for very long walks everywhere try and find somewhere with the bluebells in the spring. I want to be as far away from humanity as possible, somewhere deep in the wild. I would sit down and then four hours later, I would sort of like, it would be like coming to after a dreamlike sleep. And there, the painting is just, would go into, it's like a conscious trance. I'd be sitting there and I'd have the view in front of me and I'd be, have some awareness, I'd start to pick up paint and do sort of the stuff I've been trained myself to do over the years, so taking in colours, perspectives, forms, shape and that. And then it would just dissolve as I'd start, it's almost like emerging myself into the place. I'd be looking at the place and then the place would be coming into me, almost like I was channeling it into the canvas. I guess rather than painting landscapes, I'm trying to paint natural timescapes. I'm trying to paint a period of time, not just in what it looks like, but the smells, the sounds, something that you can't do with um, modern technological equipment, but something that you have to experience as a human being, you have to actually be there.